Hello there everyone, Christy here. If you, like me, spend a lot of time in the comment sections of YouTube videos, you'll hear people saying, and there are videos that are saying, that feminism is no longer needed in the West and it's no longer needed in America. Oftentimes, in the comment sections, people will make the assertion, feminism is no longer needed, and when you challenge the fact that they've made an assertion without any evidence, they reply, show me the laws where women and men are treated unequally. That is basically first wave feminist thinking, as if laws that address inequality for men and women is the only form of feminism that exists. There is also the social aspects and economic aspects. And there are still legal issues that need to be addressed, but not necessarily framing it in terms of making men and women's rights equal, as it were. And I want to bring to your attention a very good reason why feminism is still needed in America. Because we have child brides. I first saw this covered in The Guardian, and I was really shocked at how little American news coverage I found. I was able to find something on the Washington Post, which I will show you, but I didn't even know that this was a problem in the United States. And now that I do, I'm shocked and horrified, and I want to bring it to your attention because you should be shocked and horrified as well. And if you live in a state where these practices are still going on, I encourage you to get in touch with your local legislator, with your governor, and to ask them to change the laws to stop child marriage in your state so that we can be free from this problem in the United States. I'm going to start with the article that introduced me to this topic, but I'm also going to then read sections from the Washington Post and the website of the group that engaged in activism to end the practice in the state of Virginia. From The Guardian, America's Child Marriage Crisis, Virginia Law Tackles Continuing Issue. Until this month, there was no minimum age requirement to get married in Virginia if you could meet certain criteria. Girls as young as 13 years old and pregnant were wed with a judge's approval in recent years, according to records from Virginia's Department of Health. Almost 4,500 minors were married between 2004 and 2013. About 90% of those minors were girls who married adult men. State Senator Jill Vogel pushed through a bill that went into effect this month to ban marriages to those younger than 18 after she learned of a man in his 50s who was dating a high school student. Although the man had previously married and divorced another teenager, Child Protective Services were powerless to intervene as the girl was not being harmed by a parent or legal guardian, she said. Vogel realized that marriage laws in Virginia failed to protect children from forced or coerced marriages, rendering minors vulnerable to sexual abuse. Quote, the fact that you can marry a child is to me unconscionable where we are in today's society, unquote, said Vogel. Under Virginia's new law, 16 and 17 year olds must apply to become emancipated before they can marry. A judge will evaluate whether a minor is being coerced to marry and may consider the age difference between a couple and a person's criminal history in considering the application. The new Virginia law removed the so-called pregnancy exception, which automatically granted permission for children to wed if they were pregnant and had their parents' consent. Quote, this was one of the really, really unbelievable loopholes in the law, that you could marry someone as a way to avoid prosecution, unquote, said Vogel. Jean Smoot, a lawyer at the Tahir Justice Center, which drafted the new Virginia law, said, quote, Pregnancy exceptions don't exist to help children, but to shield adults from accountability, unquote. A 13-year-old girl's pregnancy should not have been looked at as grounds to grant a marriage license, but evidence that she is at risk. There are a handful of states, such as Florida and New Mexico, that set no minimum age for minors to marry if a female is pregnant. I will, of course, provide the link for this full article. I don't want to read too much of it for the reasons of copyright violations. But let's go over to the Washington Post article, which also covered this story. Why 13-year-olds can no longer marry in Virginia. Only adults can get married in Virginia, according to a new law replacing policies that made it possible for a girl 13 or younger to marry if she had parental consent and was pregnant. The change is aimed at curbing forced marriages, human trafficking, and statutory rape disguised as marriage. Activists say the previous law created a fast track to child marriages for abusers who could evade investigation by child welfare officials 
simply by marrying their victims. About 90% of the underage spouses were girls. In many cases, the girls married men aged 21 or older, and sometimes the men were decades older, data show. The statistics prompted the Falls Church base to hear Justice Center, which works to end forced marriages in the United States, to set about getting the laws changed through a rare bipartisan effort. Senators Jill Holtzman Vogel, Republican of Fakir, and Delegate Jennifer McClellan D. Richmond sponsored identical bills that passed during this year's legislative session despite some opposition. Similar bills were introduced in California, Maryland, New Jersey, and New York this year, according to the National Conference of State Legislatures. When children get married, Smoot said, they are 50% less likely to finish high school, four times less likely to go to college, and more likely to have children sooner and more closely spaced than people who marry as adults. Underage brides are also more likely to experience mental and physical problems, Smoot said, and have a divorce rate of as high as 80%. McClellan noted that her grandmother married at age 14 in Mississippi in the early 1900s when it was more socially acceptable and before evidence showed the risk of underage marriage. Today, she said, the new legislation was needed to bring consistency to child safety policies and to close what advocates call a gaping loophole in marriage laws. Quote, sex with a child is illegal, McClellan said, but the way that marriage laws worked, if you were under 16 and pregnant, rather than punishing your assailant, you were allowed to marry them. For these reasons, Tahir is urging states to follow Virginia's lead and set the minimum marriage age at 18. A little bit about the Justice Center that is working on this issue. It is a religious group. They are of the Baha'i faith, and the group has been inspired to work and create a world where women and girls enjoy equality. They are focused on ending violence against girls and women, using training and education, policy advocacy, and direct services in order to promote a world where girls and women can enjoy equality and live in safety and dignity. You can click on the link below to be taken to the website where they cover this issue. As they say here, a pregnant 13-year-old should have triggered alarm bells and an investigation by social services, not a marriage license. She would have been a statutory rape victim below the age at which capacity to consent to sexual relations is even legally recognized. The issue isn't isolated to Virginia, Maryland, or Texas. Most states set 18 as the minimum age of legal consent to marry, but this requirement can often easily be set aside through exceptions based on parental or judicial consent and or pregnancy. Some of you may have read the NPR story of, about the issue or the heartbreaking story in the Houston Chronicle about a 14-year-old who was forced to marry a 21-year-old. Maybe you saw the New York Times op-ed by a partner nonprofit Unchained at Last citing nearly 3,500 children married in New Jersey between 1995 and 2012, nearly 200 of them children 15 or younger. In New York, nearly 4,000 children were married from the years between 2000 and 2010. We realize that not every child marriage is a forced marriage, but a survey into forced marriage in the United States identified as many as 3,000 cases of forced marriage encountered by service providers over a two-year period many involving girls under the age of 18. I want to thank this group for their work they've done and the legislators in Virginia who set aside politics to try to address this problem. You can work on this issue by bringing it to the attention of your elected representatives. This is why we need feminism in America, because feminism is still needed in America. Thank you guys for your time and attention. Again, I encourage you strongly to click on the links I'll provide below. I've been Christy. You've been awesome. Thanks for following along on this really difficult and upsetting topic. I will talk to you soon. Bye.